Welcome back guys, we got another review for a dash cam. This time it is from Galfi Q2. This is a 2K resolution Wi-Fi camera that is available on Amazon right now for $59.99. If you click the coupon box for 20% off, you should be able to get it for just a few dollars under 50 bucks. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing, see what's inside and we'll do a quick test. So let's see, it's got some support information here. Uh, basically, you definitely need an SD card, so make sure you guys have that. They usually recommend a particular type of card. Um, so, you got a warranty. Let's see, and here's the recommended card that they give you. So, they actually do tell you what to search for in, on Amazon. So, you probably want to stick to that. There's a quick setup on the back. Um, all right, so this is the electrostatic film that goes on the windshield so you put this on and then the, the camera sticks to this um, kind of like two layers all right and then this should be the actual device all right so pretty simple got your ports over there SD card goes right there power cord goes here this is the sticky pad um, that goes on top of the electrostatic film so it just kind of goes up on the windshield like that the electrostatic film is removable so you can move this around like you know if you put it in place and don't like where it is, you can definitely move it around. There's a microphone, probably a speaker. There's a power button there on the side. So, all right, let's uh, see what else is in here. There's an extra one or two, actually, I think it's two more uh, sticky pads. So, we've got some options. Then there's a push pin. I think this is probably a reset pin. I do see a button here, a spot here that says R. So that's probably a reset pin. All right, and then in the last section, you have your power cord. So this goes into your cigarette lighter. There's a, no, I wouldn't say a pry tool. This is a tool to help you tuck the wire in around the uh, molding inside the vehicle. And then there's some uh, wire holders. So you can stick these to the windshield and kind of keep the cord in place. Um, I guess in a case where you can't really tuck it away, it'll just kind of keep the cord in place. So. You might not need these if you, you know, able to kind of tuck it away inside your, uh, inside of your uh, vehicle. So let's uh, get this hooked up. We'll do a rough hookup because I already actually have one in the car. So we'll just hook this one up right below it and uh, I'll kind of leave the wires dangling and uh, we'll see how it goes. And also there is an app for this. So you want to make sure you download the app. Um, it's probably in the quick setup. So, and they do have a video, so I'm not going to go through the actual setup. I would prefer you use their uh, instructions. So it is on YouTube. So you just scan this and it should take you right to the uh, video for the instructions on how to set this up fully. So, all right, let's get this in the car and we'll take it for a quick drive. We'll check out some of the video and see how it looks. Okay, I got the camera all set up and uh, I got a rough hook up. So we're going to take a ride and see how this thing works. Uh, probably try and do a quick night night drive and see how that is so all right let's take it for a ride and uh, I'll be back with the videos so for the daytime driving I feel like this is a pretty good picture uh, I think the the clarity is definitely there um, I had to mute the sound because I forgot I had the sound on so uh, it's definitely a great picture you can kind of see a little bit of everything but uh, yeah, I'm definitely digging the daytime. Let's take a look at the nighttime. So the nighttime feed uh, looks pretty good. I think you kind of get a good feel for uh, a little bit of your surroundings. We can uh, take a look at how to actually download the videos. So stay tuned. So I just wanted to quick show you guys the process of uh, exporting a video. So pretty much I'm inside the app right now, as you can kind of see. So at the bottom, you see a couple of buttons for settings and the camera file. So let's just quick go into settings. Stop recording. Um, once you go into settings, it stops recording, as you probably just heard. So you have various options here. Um, sound recording means like it's going to record sound inside the cabin. So if you want to have that turned off um it probably would be not a bad idea just to save space on the memory card because i would imagine the sound takes up space um but there's plenty of other settings in here the parking mode you need a separate hardware kit for that so um 
I think that kit would hook directly into the fuse and, and allow it to, to constantly be running um, on some kind of low passive mode. So that's the, that's the menu. As soon as you come out of the menu, it starts recording, but we're going to go to camera file. It stops again. So all your videos start to come up. Um, so you can pretty much like select whatever one you want and kind of go from there. So I'm just going to grab a couple, maybe one or two. So I'm going to grab this one. So let's see, I'm going to press and hold. So press and hold and you get the option to download. So we'll just hit the download and then it starts downloading. So you have the option to do it from your phone or you can just basically take the card out and do it through a, a PC and just, you know, export it through a memory card reader uh, on a PC. So those are your options. Um, as you can see, it's going pretty quickly. It does have a Wi-Fi hookup between the phone and the device. Uh, there is no internet, so it's basically just a Wi-Fi signal between the, your phone and the, the, the device. So you can see it finished pretty much in about 20 seconds, so that wasn't too bad. So that is the download or export feature. So if you have any questions, please reach out to the Galfi team in the link below. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.